Okay, today we went down to our uh, local uh, put and take trout pond. Uh, we got our limit in about two hours, so we got four, our four, two each. Um, nice, nice size. This one here is actually big. I'm wondering if he's not a second year fish. Maybe. Might have survived last year and wintered in the pond. Some of them do that. Uh, but today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to dress a trout. Uh, we're dressing it uh, to put in the smoker. Uh, so basically what dressing it is, is we're going to clear out the uh, belly cavity and we're going to remove the head. You can leave the head on for smoking. Some people say that it tastes better that way. I prefer to remove them because I find it grosses people out and they're less likely to want to try it if the head's still on. Yeah. So we just start by going down to the anal opening. We just put the knife in. And we just make a cut right up along the belly. I try not to get too deep because I don't really want to cut open the stomach contents. No. And just continue right up to the throat. On some fish in that area where he's at now, there's a plate that's hard yeah. to cut through, so you got to work your way on the trout that is on the not trout, there. It's actually back here. So you can see it's yeah. a little tougher right through there. And now we've opened the belly cavity. Now what I'll do is I'll go behind this fin and make a slice down. And then I'll go up around the gill plate to the back of the head. Like that. I'll turn it over. I'll do the same thing. Slice behind the gill, behind the fin. This guy is really tough to cut. There we go. And then once again, right behind and up to the head. And then I'll just force the knife through the spine. And I'll do the same on this side. There we go. And the head's off. Now there is quite a bit of blood in these because these fish are really, really fresh. Yes, they're incredibly fresh. And now that he's got the head, the see, guts, just the pull guts are coming right off with it. Yeah. If you don't want to remove the head, then you got to get your hand there and just pull them out. They're not attached in any there, way. There's his air bladder still intact. Yeah, it's still there. It's so we take that out. And you got to peel that one out. So you want that peeled out. And then I'm just going to throw that in the garbage. Yeah, make sure you get all that in the garbage. So and the then guts came with the head. but yeah, There's yeah. still, that's all the blood in the fish. And there's a little membrane there. So you just want to slice along the membrane and then scrape all the blood out. Yeah, so that is the coagulated blood yeah. since he has died. Although it's pretty fresh, It's actually. pretty fresh, so it hasn't really started to coagulate. But that we'll was... rinse the rest of it out. But we will cut that membrane and scrape down yeah, to get the five... majority of it out. And the rest we will rinse out. Yeah, five minutes ago, this fish was probably alive. That's why yeah. it's so fresh. If your fish has been dead a while, that'll be a lot thicker. Yeah. And, and all the guts just... came with the head. Um, again, if you don't take the head off, you got to scoop it out. But it's not attached to anything, so you just grab it and pull it out. And see, most of the blood came out. We'll trim a little yeah. bit of that off with the knife. The rest will rinse off in the sink. And now you see how that belly cavity is nice and open. And your fish is pretty much dressed. You're going to clean that out. And if you're going to bake it, you're going to stuff that cavity full of onions and other ingredients. Yeah, we like to do lemon and onion. Or we'll do uh, brown sugar and maple syrup. Yeah. On big fish, you can do that on a plank, or you can just rub it inside. Bigger fl fish, we might even fillet. This one... Yeah, not still quite there. Not quite. But when we, we're going to do this one in the smoker, and when we do, these bones will peel right out, and you'll just have yeah. two nice long pieces of meat left. If Yeah, if you're going to smoke them, then you should dress them too. Yeah. Yes. Dr regardless, yeah. If you're going to bake them like this... Uh, they do good in the barbecue this way as well. Um, we like them in the barbecue. I prefer the barbecue to the oven, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and then also uh, for the smoker, it's the same thing. Now we'll just rinse this off, and we'll get them in a freezer bag, and uh, we'll work, go work on the other three fish. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And you just got to rinse that good, get your thumbs run along, get all that blood out, and you're good. 